Three players who've already won a game are coming back to the tower for one final battle. I mean, it's, it's not a battle, it's, it's mostly just friendly conversation, but that sounds more dramatic. One of them will become the champion of champions and leave here with their head held high. And the other two, well, they will get disconnected. Alec, Ellen, Vanessa, welcome back to the Champion of Champions show. There is no big prize here, there's no special award at the end of it, but one of you will retire undefeated, having taken out eight other players in total to be here. So, very, very best of luck to you all. We're gonna get straight into it. Alec, we're gonna go to you first. Congratulations on winning your first match there. How are you feeling? Uh, just as confident as last time, which is to say not at all. <laughs> all right, well, the questions start out harder this time. So, good luck to Great. you. I can give you the choice of fruit flavors or art museums. Ooh, I like that choice. I'm gonna go with fruit flavors. <laughs> all right, which fruit flavor do the spirits Triple Sec and Quantro have? Ooh, um, gonna have to go with juniper berries. Alec says juniper berries. Oh, <laughs> now I was gonna ask if anyone wants to challenge, but that's pretty clear and quick there. That was straight in with a, with a hand up there, Vanessa. I'm guessing you know the answer to that one. I don't have 100% confidence, but my first thought when you said that was orange, I think Contro has an orange flavor, so I'm going to challenge based off of that random thought that I had. And it is an absolutely correct challenge. It was a <gasps> solid bluff there, Alec. You came in confident, but I'm afraid that is a bar away from you. Darn. Well, you know, I did. I do know that's what the flavor is of gin, so I knew yeah. I was lying. <laughs> it was a solid guess. Ellen, how are you feeling? Not bad, not bad. Would you like hotels or numbers? Oh, uh... Numbers. All right. What number is the amount of years in a septennium? Is it? Yeah, it will be um, 7,000. Ellen says 7,000. Alec, Vanessa, what do you reckon? <laughs> All the faces there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm not going to challenge. Ellen, was that a guess? Yes. <laughs> You're going off sept and millennium there, presumably. Yeah, yeah. It's seven. The answer was oh, wrong, no. but that <laughs> doesn't matter because no one called you on it. You were confident. Alec, uh. that's another bargain. Vanessa, that's a bargain. Well, the thing is, the mill is the thousand. Uh, all right. <laughs> It sounded like a guess, except it sounded like the right guess. Yeah, That's what yeah. I was thinking. Yeah, I thought I, I thought I might have been right. So, <laughs> Alec, you are in a precarious position already. I'm afraid yeah. you can't let a wrong answer get past you, but you also can't give a wrong challenge. Vanessa, how are you feeling after the first game? I'm feeling good. I'm very competitive, but then I also feel bad for not being friendly at the same time. So you can never win. <laughs> Would you like flowers or body parts? I will go with body parts. All right. Which body part is the gland in the human body in which insulin is produced? That would be the pancreas. Vanessa says pancreas. Alec, Ellen, how do you feel about that? I have a feeling that that it is right. I'm not a massive person who knows loads about endocrinology, but <laughs> I just know the word endocrinology is related to it. <laughs> yeah, but you do know the word endocrinology. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that's right too. All right. That's only because I've got another endocrinology problem that I have. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> no challenges, and Vanessa, that is the correct answer. Congratulations. You wow, stick good. around on two bars. But of course, if it was wrong and they hadn't challenged, Alec would be out now. So, Alec, you cannot lose this bar of signal if you give the right answer. Good luck to you. Would you like Chinese food or Formula One Grand Prix? Uh, Chinese food, please. All right. Which Chinese food literally translates from Cantonese as touch heart? Um, probably dumplings. Alec says dumplings. Ellen, Vanessa? Do you want to challenge? You're both in a position where you can let the answer pass by, particularly you, Alan, but also you could take him out. 
I, I don't know the Cantonese for dumplings, so that's the thing. And I don't know any Cantonese anyway. <laughs> so. I'm not across any Cantonese either, unfortunately. Dumpling. So here's the thing. Is dumpling even a Cantonese word, right? Because you have like dim sim and yum cha and like these other words that are Chinese, but like dumpling. Like do Chinese words don't have an ing at the end. Well, I do know what the word is in Mandarin. It's Chao Tzu. Mm. Do we believe that, Ellen? Challenge or don't, I'm going to ask for a call or not. It's up to you, Ellen. I don't know. I don't know. There's no challenge there. Alec, did you know that answer? Truthfully, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Chao Tzu is actually what it is in, in Mandarin. I do know that. Alec, the answer was wrong. Ah. Oh. Yes. But that doesn't matter because they didn't call you on it. They could have knocked you out. Instead, you got a wrong answer past both of them. Ellen, you're down to two bars. Yes. Vanessa, you're down to one. Uh, oh no! It was <laughs> dim sum. It was dim sum. It's a style of different bites. Dumplings is one of that, but the translation of dumpling is not touch heart. You were in the right area, but literally dim sum, touch heart. And Ellen, it is your question. Would you like nationalities or famous novels? Oh, let's go nationalities. All right, what nationality was the explorer Vasco da Gama who discovered a route to India by sea? Uh, Vasco da Gama. I believe Portuguese. Ellen says Portuguese. Now. Alec, Vanessa, you have a decision to make. You're both on one. If she gets a wrong answer past both of you, you two go to a tie break. But a correct challenge would knock Ellen down to one. What do you want to do? Alec, where's your head at? In the clouds. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> um, truthfully, I don't know enough about that sort of history to give a reasonable answer. But you know what? I'm just going to challenge it because if I don't, I'll be gone anyway. Alec has challenged. Ellen, was that a guess? It sounded like a guess, was it? It was a guess, yes. <laughs> but there's only like three or four countries to choose from. Like, I think it could have been Portuguese. And that's why I wasn't really sure. And he <laughs> was Portuguese. It was a very, very <laughs> good guess. <laughs> I deserve that for how the first round went. Alec, congratulations on making it this far, but that is your last bar of signal gone. You've been disconnected. Thank you very much for playing. Good night. <laughs> Ellen, Bye. Vanessa, you are through to the last head-to-head, -to, -head to the grand final. Very best of luck. We will see you after this commercial break. So I've talked about the video wall and floor. It means there's no green screen key, and it means my eye line looks perfect. We've talked about the camera tracking and the virtual set extensions, and about the real-time media server that's putting all this together. There's one more important thing here. There's only one other person required in the studio. We have me, and we have Lewis on camera. That's it. There are a few other folks outside in the production gallery, but that could be anywhere in the world. Right now, when shows have to be made while everyone keeps their distance, that's important. If you don't want just a, a televised video call, and let's face it, the world is very tired of televised video calls, then this smart stage and Disguises XR Pipeline is a brilliant solution. And if you'd rather the stage go to the talent, well, White Light are used to delivering enormous live shows in arenas and stadiums. One of these stages can get packed up, set up in a truck, and sent to anywhere that there's power. Broadcast, presentations, education, anywhere. You can get a shipping container, you can get one of these stages. So thank you to White Light and Disguise for helping pull all this together. There are links to all of them in the description. I'm so grateful. Right, back to the final. Players, congratulations. You have made it to the final round of the Champion of Champions. One of you will be getting disconnected, but the other will have defeated eight other players to make it to the end. So very best of luck to both of you. I realize that wishing best of luck to both of you does absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> I'm very nervous. I'm so nervous. Imagine if you were playing for money or something, how I nervous know. you would be. I'm hopeless. <laughs> Ellen, you struck the killing blow there, so you're gonna be going first. You both know how it works. We're looking for things in a category. Challenge if you think there's a wrong answer. There is no penalty for letting a wrong answer slip past you here, other than it makes your job harder. Ellen. 
we are looking for the 100 most followed individuals on Twitter. So just to clarify that, we're looking for the 100 individuals whose dedicated Twitter accounts have the most followers. So no brands, no abstract concepts. We just need their usual names. We don't need their usernames. Barack Obama. Ellen says Barack Obama. Vanessa. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. We're starting with our presidents. Ellen. <laughs> Lynn manuel Miranda. Lynn manuel Miranda. Vanessa? That is a skeptical challenge. Face. All right, straight away, challenging on the second answer. I mean, yes, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, both good answers. Why did you go for Lin Manuel? Uh, I think because of the, the political thing in Hamilton. <laughs> but um, like, I follow him. I uh, I don't really look at follower numbers a lot. He gets a lot of engagement, and that kind of gives me an idea of how many followers he would probably have. I wouldn't be surprised if he was on the 100 list. I just thought there's like so many other people that would probably have more followers than him. So that is a formal challenge from Vanessa. I'll tell you this, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, both good answers. Lin-Manuel Miranda, not on the list. Ellen, that was a wrong answer. Vanessa, that was a correct challenge. Uh, Ellen, you're down to one bar. I should have said a Kardashian. You should. They're all on there. They're all on there. Uh, it's an endless bit of names. Follower numbers and, and talent don't have the, the strongest relationship sometimes. <laughs> Bill Gates is on there. Ellen DeGeneres, uh, Ed Sheeran, uh, Chloe Kim and Kourtney Kardashian and Kanye West as well would have been on there. Oh, Katy Perry, LeBron James, <sighs> not Lin-Manuel Miranda. Unlucky, oh. but there's still a chance. Vanessa, you're kicking off this list and we are looking for Best Picture Oscar winners. So this is any film that has won the award for Best Picture or equivalent if it was called something else in that year. We are looking for the award for the best film. Vanessa? It's you to start. Okay. I'm going to start with Green Book. Vanessa says Green Book. Ellen. Uh, the Shape of Water. Spotlight. Sorry, you are the definition of the side eye emoji at that moment. Like that was. <laughs> I'm sorry, just thinking. That I was this incredibly sceptical <laughs> look. That was wonderful. Um, Titanic. Titanic, says Ellen. A nod from Vanessa. La La Land. La La Land. Challenge. Oh, that was quick. Ellen, why do you challenge? They didn't win Best Picture. They were mistakenly given Best Picture and then it went to Moonlight, I believe, which is why I'm a bit confused about Spotlight. I think that might also have been a fake one. But yeah, it wasn't La La Land. I'm pretty sure Spotlight is right, I, I think, but I can't remember the outcome of La La Land and Moonlight. I think it could have been the other way around. Spotlight is correct. Titanic, Green Book, Shape of Water, all correct. Ellen, your memory of that Oscar ceremony is correct. Yes! <laughs> you were correct to challenge Vanessa. It did go to Moonlight. It wasn't La La Land. So that's a bar away from you. And the champion of champions comes down to the final list. Wow. I watched that one live and my jaw hit the floor when that happened. <laughs> we are looking for the 100 most valuable brands. So these are brands. corporate or product brands with the highest revenue before interest and taxes, according to Forbes in 2019. They do have to have some sort of presence in the US, so this excludes Vodafone and Alibaba. But other than that, it's pretty much anything you're going to recognize. Ellen, we're going to start with you. Good luck. Apple. Ellen says Apple. Vanessa. Google. Vanessa replies with Google. Ellen. Microsoft. Microsoft. We're sticking with technology. I can't imagine why, given our, <laughs> our various uh, various specialties. Vanessa. <sighs> Amazon. Ellen. Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard, says Ellen. Vanessa. Facebook. Facebook. Twitter. Twitter. 
We are very much sticking in technology here, aren't we? Sorry, the, the look of concentration. I, I know I keep pointing this out, but it's wonderful. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Pepsi. An immediate reply with Pepsi. Not even, <laughs> not even a thought of challenging Coca-Cola there. Just like, yep, nope, that's, that's fair. Well, that's, yeah, yep. yeah. <laughs> Vanessa. Nike. Nike. This is basically how much <laughs> consumerism can you remember? Um, <laughs> Alan. Um, Adidas or Adidas, depending on how you want to pronounce it. I, I would accept <laughs> either pronunciation. Adidas or Adidas, says Alan. Vanessa. Chevron. Ford. I, I can't help but point out that Vanessa keeps changing the topic and Alan just keeps batting it back. <laughs> it's a strategy. It's, it's a solid strategy. Vanessa. Walmart. Walmart. Oh, I was going to go for that one. <laughs> Rockstar. Rockstar, says Alan. Challenge. Challenging. I was resisting on... challenging. But I have never even heard of Rockstar. Now, Rockstar are the video game company that does Grand Theft Auto V, among quite a lot of other games. And there are a lot of people that pay for that game. I'll tell you this much. Between you, you hit the top six on the board. Apple, Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, Coca-Cola, top six between you. Pepsi, Nike, Adidas, Ford, Walmart, all good. Activision, not on the list. Twitter, not on the list. Chevron, also not on the list. They're a big oil company, they're not the big oil companies. So, Rockstar. If Rockstar is on the list, if Grand Theft Auto V and all their others are big enough, Ellen, you've won. If they're not on the list, Vanessa, you've won. Rockstar is not on the list. Oh. Vanessa, you were absolutely <laughs> right to challenge. Rockstar are owned by Take Two. They're not top 100. Unfortunately, video wow. game companies haven't made it up there yet. I don't know if there are any on the list. There's a lot. Could have had Budweiser, could have had American Express, Bank of America, Hyundai, Kellogg's, Louis Vuitton, Red Bull, T-Mobile. They're all up there, but Rockstar are not. Ellen, that is your last bar of signal away. Thank you very much for playing. It was so close, but you've been disconnected. Thank you very much for being part of it. Vanessa, that is game, set, match. It is all yours. You are champion of champions. Congratulations. You get the 20 seconds at the end. Plug your stuff again if you want to. That's been our show. That's been Disconnected. Thank you very much for watching. Good night. I run a YouTube channel called Braincraft, forward slash Braincraft. Please go and subscribe. I have lots of fun videos about psychology and neuroscience. I'm also on Instagram and Twitter as at Nessie Hill, N-E-S-S-Y-H-I-L-L. -L. I post lots of fun stuff there too. Thank you for watching.